Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Noam coming to y'all real quick with another video. Um, it's about Detroit Lions again. Yeah, Detroit Lions have signed a uh, former Green Bay's first round defensive end, uh, Dante Jones, uh, who was recently let go uh, by Minnesota Vikings because of his uh, shoulder. He was on injured reserve, so they released him. Uh, so the Lions picked him up. I think we got a few little bumps and bruises on our defensive line. He was a former first round pick, I think back in twenty was it twenty thirteen or twenty fourteen or something like that. I think it was twenty thirteen, yeah. And I guess he he has like nine sacks overall in his career and about fifty seven he started fifty nine games. I think he got about fifty seven tackles or something like that. I don't know, maybe that's part of the reason. Maybe he was always injured, maybe Green Bay said bump and move on from him. Or I mean, he just didn't wasn't scheme fit, but uh, Lions signed him today to add uh, some depth into the defensive line that's a little bit banged up. Uh, the other thing I want to talk to y'all about, y'all tell me how y'all feel first about that. My bad. Uh, yeah, tell me about how y'all feel about the move. And then the other thing I want to let y'all know, man, is that Matthew Stafford uh, was reported today to have a hamstring injury and an ankle injury. It's not really good what you want to hear about your franchise starting quarterback. Uh, he suffered that during, of course, the loss against the Carolina Panthers uh, this past Sunday. So, it, it, it did not say he's out, but they said uh, that it's going to be up in the air. And they're saying, like, well, that maybe – Depending on how his practices go this week, that could determine his availability for the game. And if not, then that means we more likely will probably turn to Jake Rudock. And that could be a risk because, you know, Jake Rudock hasn't really had a starting uh, regular season experience. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that could be risky. Uh, if he, if it was, I believe he can play because he was able to play through it the whole game Sunday. If it was really that bad of a, a hamstring injury, ankle injury, they, he probably would have had missed the game. I understand he's very, very tough, and Lord knows who he is. Um, but thing is, I feel like if it was really that bad, he wouldn't be able to come back in and play, and no matter what the scenario. Because, you know, Kenny Galladay right now, as it stands, is out hurt to my knowledge, because of a hamstring injury. So, who knows when he'll be back. Uh, could be possibly this week, maybe in, uh, after the bye week. Uh, so, let's see. With Stafford, possibly banged up. I can see his practices being limited this week, so Lions fans just stay diligent on that. Don't overstress it. It's a chance he could play Sunday, but it's up in the air. Let's just hope that his that if his practices are light, maybe they're just trying to make sure he rests on it. And, you know, and this time we go really need to be ready. Other than that, y'all leave in the comment section how y'all feel about it right now, man. Uh, just want to bring this update to y'all. And it's your boy, no, shout out to DVE, man. Peace.